the screen what you are seeing is your cadbox pn daddy okay so in, in using this cadbox pn daddy software you'd be able to uh, create your process and instrumentation uh, diagram okay so the cadbox basically it is a product from uh, hexagon so which works on top of uh, brickscad or uh, autocad okay so now once if you install your uh, cadbox so you it will ask for okay which platform you want to use and based on the platform what you are choosing it will get in, in installed but even after the installation also you will be able to change the profile okay so again either on autocad or brickscad that the profile you would be able to change okay this is as far as installation is uh, concerned this for your understanding that now if you want to start in your cadbox pn daddy first thing is you need to define your or create a project okay that is the first step which you need to do now on top left of your uh, cadbox screen we have the uh, setup icon so click on this setup icon and there you'd be able to define your size specification as well as a border and also you have the other tools like layers and also edit configuration okay so this is the thing which you need to do okay but if you want to do this and continue with your uh, settings in your uh, cadbox pn daddy okay so as i told you first we are going for creating a project in this okay so click on this new drawing and normally in any uh, either autocad or scan if you click on the new so you will go for choose either english or imperial and metric uh you have template you have to choose so when once if you click on this template then your new drawing is opened that is a normal uh, settings you have in your plain autocad or uh, bricscad but when the same is installed with your cadbox pn daddy you have this startup options where if you want to create a new drawing you have either with or without database and similarly if you whether you want to open a drawing create a new project and as well loop di diagramming where you have the create and the generate loop uh, diagrams or maybe the templates that okay so our intention is to create a new project so first we are going for click on the new project and click okay and the cadbox generally supports the data database in the background okay so to store all its uh, information about uh, the objects whatever we are creating and this database uh, information whichever is collecting will help us to uh, get the uh, i mean reports or maybe the bom uh, for the, the process drawing right so now here by default we'll use the access as the database so click on access and go for browse uh, let me create a new project and this project is lmf lms testing and the database is for lms save it and click okay so now i created a new project folder okay and under that i defined a database as well so with that let me go for create a new drawing with database for this lms.mdb uh, file and this is going to be my uh, classroom drawing one okay zero one and save fine so now my first drawing is uh, created so within that let me go for create my uh, i mean what is that process drawing as i said uh, in the initial uh, thing okay so i i mean if you want to create a drawing you need to define what is the size and what is the spec and other uh, configurations you need to do through this setup dialog so going for your uh, border first and choose a predefined border let me say this as a a3 size of uh, this one and then i am going for my specification i would like to uh, continue with any one of these units before that going for setting the units i am going to my edit configuration and confirm what units is set for this particular project under this cfg that is a configuration file okay i have metric uh, metric units okay but remember once if you set your units then it is not allowed to change your units in the middle of the project okay or in the other way i would say it is not advised to change the uh, units in that okay because once if you uh, change your units then you have to go for make some mini uh, changes into it okay or some settings because the unit conversion of your 25.4 uh, mm is equal to 1 inch that conversion is there but if you go for between the metric as well as the inch in it right so i know i have the metric uh, metric so i'm going for choosing this metric spec as my spec and choose the rating as 150 okay and size let me choose the size as 100 all right 
fine so rest of the settings i'm not uh, doing anything so i just here if you want to make any changes on the layers and colors and line type you can do it over here and just click ok right so this is my attributes for my title block uh, i don't want to change anything now just click ok so now this is my uh, title block or maybe the drawing area so where uh, i need to create my process drawing so just going for my vessels and then place a vessel over here to create the vessel into this so just pick the two corners and as well the uh, locations where you want to place your vessel and also the other information tag right and uh, similarly this vessel i would like to connect with a pump so let me choose a pump here okay so to connect to it so let me take this one uh, i feel this is good tag and as well the info okay so the informations are placed now so once this is done now the, my next uh, thing is to create a process line connecting this uh, vessel as well as uh, the uh, pump okay if you want to start with your process line as the next stage so here we are going for defining our tag format okay what tag you want to use or maybe the what the uh, project standard you have to defend your uh, tag in that okay so let me choose this as service as the next uh, input i need and then i'm going for choosing this as a line number as my next and as well the insulation as the third one or maybe the other uh, standard whatever you are uh, a customer or maybe your end customer ask for that okay now let me go for make the format okay few uh, customers will ask for hyphen as a separator for your uh, inputs or few customers will ask for underscore or dot or something it differs varies from it varies from customer to customer isn't it? and also here i'm going for uh, making this system on to have the dynamic selection of my size and spec choose this and click okay so now my uh, thing is done and as well i'm going for my drop down list and under this service I need a couple of service in that. Okay, so let's say I'm just adding this to as a service and the line number. I'm just going for adding some line numbers to it. Okay. And similarly, insulation. Okay, so these are the insulations I would like to add in that. So once this is set next i'm going for creating a process line from this okay by default in your uh paint ready make sure that your snip snap grid and as well as ortho is turned on because that will simplify your drawing creation process because you see even if you move your cursor it stick to the uh object from where you want to start because this object is created as per the uh, settings or maybe the values what you have defined in the snap grid and uh, ortho in that so now i'm starting this uh, line from here and i would like to connect it to this so joining to this and here i would like to join and to this line here enter now you can see automatically it is placing the arrows right and your process line is ready and as well if you want to place a valve on it you can go for place a valve and it will I mean, as a break the line and also uh, it will allow you to place it. And similarly, if the value is not required, if delete, it will, it's going to mend the line. Okay, so on, on its own, that. Right, so place the valve. And since I selected the line size is 100, you see for the valve size is also taking, it's a 100, right? And as a next, I'm going for placing the tag for my vessel. So it is going to be vertical vessel 101 just click OK and if you want to have the additional information of the vessel like a short description that is uh, I'm just giving naming this as a vertical uh, vessel I'm not using any uh, other uh, terms which is uh, required now so just for demo purpose or maybe the training purpose I'm just doing this and internal pressure is going to be the 100 bar and this temperature is going to be the uh, 89 and this one is the 125 and 120 and this is let's say 75 for example and other any other information if you would like to add you can add it and once if you click ok now you see all this informations for this vessel is updated same procedure i can go for my pump and here give this a uh, pump as uh, one and additional data and go for 
give the HP as a just three HP uh, pump to this. Just click OK. So now HP is three and this one. Right. And as a next, I would like to name my uh, define a tag for my number, uh, sorry, line as well. So double click on this. OK, and here you see it is taking the size and spec, but rest of the things it is taking only as a service, as a size service, line, uh, line num number as a line number, insulate as insulate. But we know through our line numbering system, we defined, sorry, through our uh, drop down uh, list, we defined some values for our uh, service and as a well line number. So go for additional data, choose our service, and choose a line number, and as well choose the insulation what you want. Click OK and OK. Next, go for place the tag here. Right? So now this is the tag which I placed. And similarly, for my valve as well, I need the gate valve as 501. Right? So now my simple PNID is uh, created and it's ready.